Alrighty guys, I am back again with another Chogokin from the Gundam Factory Yokohama. This is gonna be the life-size Gundam today in Japan. This is the factory box. And there we have the actual box. And we can see right here, Chogokin Gundam Factory Yokohama RX-78 F00 Gundam. This is the back of the box. Chojoken Gundam Factory Yokohama, the main action figure with this uh, bazooka and with the effect, with the lightning effect and the base stand right there. And let's go with the unboxing. There we have it guys, we have it unboxed. It came with two clamshell packaging. The first one is the accessories. We have the shield, the different kind of hands, beam saber effect, V-fin, and the bazooka. And the second clamshell packaging is just the action base or the base stand. And this one right here is just a typical styrofoam solid to token style packaging with a cardboard as a cover. And we have manual here. So let's get it on with the action figure. Alrighty, we have it opened. It's a master grade size action figure uh, metal build. And it is nicely packed. So we got everything laid out here. We got the action base and the accessory and the main action figure. Right. fellas this is the rx78 f00 gundam based on the actual life-size gundam in japan it comes with the action base weapon racks for the shield and for the bazooka and rifle a closer look of the upper body you can see right there there's a lot of decals and the paint is kind of glossy and it's a very well detailed piece even though the head, the V-fin is too short and the head is too big. A closer look of the lower body or the legs. The legs are well detailed. There's a lot of decals and the color separation is well done. And the back of the knees, which are the joints, are die cast. It's unpainted, but it's shiny. I think the only missing part is black or gray panel line. Let's move on the shield. The shield is uh, well painted. Color separation, I don't see any overspray. I mean, it's an awesome piece even though it's just plastic. The inner part of the shield, there's a lot of detail and also you can move the handle up and down. Let's move to the extra hands. Each weapon have its specific hand for bazooka, beam rifle, and beam saver. So a total of five and a half sets of hand. Why five and a half? Because there's a one extra hand. Let's move on to the weapons. The bazooka, it's plastic but the paint is spot on. I don't see any overspray of white or gray. The handle is fixed, but still they did an awesome job. Same thing with the beam rifle. The beam rifle's handle is movable and also the sensor. It's plastic, but there's a little weight to it.
have it fellas we have the Gundam on its base I did not uh, put him into this uh, stand since I I just want it to be standing like that so I don't know why Bandai provide us with the extra V fin but it's nice just in case you uh, break the other one at least you have extra one and also we have a tool here to help us open the back for the switch and for the uh, bazooka or beam rifle holder and this is an extra piece this is for the beam rifle and bazooka to hold it in the back this action figure is very well detailed the only lacking is the gimmick the only gimmick that this thing have is the lights on the main sensor right here the eyes and the vents on the hand I'm just gonna pick one so the hand itself is rubber so it's easy to put the uh, beam rifle and bazooka on like for this one what you're gonna do is just gonna stick it like that and twist for the trigger and that's it right there it's on I mean it's a rubber rubber and pull it down there we go it's connected via peg the action figure itself is very articulated and the joints are very tight majority of the joints are ratchet you can clicking right there and the knees are double jointed and the elbow also are double jointed the shoulder the only problem with the shoulder is it doesn't have a articulation here it, that it can't really raise up from the sh from the shoulder itself so that's all it can go right there and I forgot to mention it has a lot of die cast now on the back the four tiny boosters right here are articulated you can actually move them the location of the switch is right here just gonna fry this armor out that's the switch right here if your nails are long you don't need this tool to switch it on since uh, you can easily reach it with your fingernail but I have a short fingernail so I am using the tool that is provided on the action figure you can just pull this open like that and it's on now before you do that you have to uh, take out the plastic that is separating the battery from each uh, from the contact so what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the backpack you're just gonna pull this out so there we go you're just gonna pull this plastic out and you're all set so now my big complaint since this is based on the actual life-size Gundam right now my big complaint is that the proportion is way off as you can see right here the head is too big the arms are thin and short I mean the legs also it's kind of thin but I can live with it arm should be about this long because of the uh, upper arm is short it made the whole arm short so size comparison between my metal frame limited edition soft bank by Bandai RX 78 it's about the same height but yeah again the proportion even though the uh, outer armor on this one are plastic the only uh, die cast is the uh, inner frame it feels like they have the same weight the uh, RX 78 F00 is a 1 100 scale size so if you ask me if I would recommend this well first for starter if you are just trying to get an action figure and you're not really a collector I wouldn't reason why is it's too expensive and the proportion is way off so yeah I wouldn't really recommend it also number one reason is too expensive I think this is a it goes for 29,000 yen retail and if you get it from reseller which is the only way if you're not in Japan this is the only way to get it from a reseller the price is way too high I mean I didn't even bother buying buying this from reseller or I, I didn't even bother getting one even though it's a limited or highly collectible just because the price is too high and I don't like the proportion it just so happened someone in Japan been my viewer for a long time he sent me one I mean actually he sent me before he sent me before a 7-eleven uh, model kit but I wasn't really expecting to receive this kind of uh, action figure as a gift it just showed showed up into my door and there we have it so I was surprised and I was also thankful and uh, yeah so but if you're a collector and you like metal build you love collecting chujoken go for it so I think that's it for now if you guys have a question or suggestion leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe also don't forget to like and share my video again thank you for watching see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.